hope you all are doing well. I'm Arita Hak and today I'm back with another science lesson. And today we will be learning about structure of a leaf and its function. So without any further delay, let's just get started. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I have drawn the structure of a leaf in here. So at first, let us get um, introduced with the structure of a leaf. So at the top, the, this part is called the tip. The middle line, as you can see, is called the midrib. Um, this outer portion, um, this edge, is called the margin. Uh, these tiny little lines are called vein. And this portion, uh, the inside portion, is called the lamina. And the portion at the last, this portion, is called the petiole. So, parts of a leaf. A leaf may seem simple in appearance, but it is a highly efficient structure. All right, now let us learn more about the structure of the leaf. So, the tip or the leaf apex. This is the tip of the leaf, as we all know. Lamina slash uh, the blade of the leaf. This is the blade of the leaf. Uh, margin. So, this is the outer edging of the leaf. They can be different in forms. For example, uh, serrated or parted. Midrib. This is the middle vein of the leaf. It connects with the petiole. Alright, so the veins are one of the most important parts of the leaf. They transport the food and water the leaf needs to all its necessary places. Moving on to the petiole. This part attaches the leaf to the actual plant stalk. Alright, so now let us learn more about the leaf. So, a leaf is actually called the kitchen of the plant. This is because they are the main organ responsible for photosynthesis. Now, what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process through which plants make their food. So, um, through photosynthesis, um, the plant produces its energy, also known as food. They obtain their green color due to the presence of chlorophyll. Now, what is chlorophyll? Let us learn about it. All right, so what is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is a green pigment present in all green plants, which is responsible for the absorption of light to provide energy for photosynthesis. I'm repeating, chlorophyll is a green pigment present in all green plants, which is responsible for the absorption of light to provide energy for photosynthesis or making food. Alright, so in here you can see an actual leaf. In this leaf, you can see there uh, is the tip of the leaf, like this part, and this is the this is the midrib, uh, this part is the lamina, and here you can see the tiny little veins, the veins, and at the bottom you can see the petiole, and this part is the margin. So yes, this is the practical example of the parts of a leaf. Alright, so now let us learn more about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants make their own food. During photosynthesis in green plants, light energy is captured and used to convert water, carbon dioxide, and minerals into oxygen and energy-rich organic compounds. Alright, so as you can see that I've drawn a diagram which shows the entire process of photosynthesis. So, as you can see, here's a plant and then here's the soil. So here's the sun, so energy from the sun is um, going to the plant. So the plant is absorbing the sunlight. In here, you can see that carbon dioxide is also absorbed by the plant from the air. Here you can see tiny little droplets of water. So water is also absorbed through soil. So here you can see that oxygen is released into the air. 
also glucose is used by the plant. I'm repeating once again that photosynthesis is the process in which green plants make their own food using sunlight. And I really hope that through this entire diagram, the process of photosynthesis is clarified. All right, so photosynthesis is the process in which green plants make their own food, as I've mentioned many times before. Now, why is photosynthesis necessary? We must know that. Photosynthesis is necessary for life on Earth because without it there would be no life because without photosynthesis there would be no green plants and without green plants there would be no animals also photosynthesis is very important because almost all living things depend on plants for food like all the humans and all the animals depend on plants for food photosynthesis is very important because of the oxygen it produces. Human and other animals need to breathe in oxygen to survive. If we do not breathe oxygen, we will die. And that is also one of the reasons why photosynthesis is so important. Some living things other than plants also make their own food through photosynthesis. That's a very interesting fact. They include certain types of bacteria and algae. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below. And it was really wonderful learning with you all today.